Okay. We're gonna start out today with our quads, everybody's favorite. As you've probably noticed, the background is a little different. You gotta stay out of the way of the people using the med balls. Can you guys hear or is it just me? I can't hear anything. Can you can you not hear me? Not really. I, I hear you like you're too far. Oh my can, can everyone else hear me okay through the headphones? Does it sound like I'm far away if I back up? Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. Deb can hear me. Julie can hear me. All right, Marina, just mess with your... So it's mine, probably. Okay, yeah, maybe mess with your audio. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll try to figure it out, no worries. Okay. All right, guys, let's move to our IT band. I'll start, ye I'll start yelling really loud. <laughs> you hear me? I don't know if that's gonna do anything. No, 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 I got it. You got it? Okay, cool, cool. <laughs> All right, go ahead and switch sides. All right, guys, let's move up to our glutes. Go ahead and switch sides. All right, guys, and then we're going to finish up with our shoulder blades. All right, guys, go ahead and set your roller to the side. Next, we're going to go into a 90-90 hip switch. So you're going to start in the 90-90 position here. Switch this way. We're starting in the 90-90 position, sitting up nice and tall from here. You're going to do our best. You can set your hands behind you. And we're just going to switch our knees up and then sit up tall in the other position. If you have pretty mobile hips, you might not even need to use your hands for this. But if you have tighter hips, you're gonna to have to set your hands behind you, which is totally fine. We'll go for about five of these on each side. All right, guys, when you are done with that, we're gonna go right into our lunge position, uh, T-spine rotation. So in that lunge position, kind of almost straightening out that back leg, hand goes down on the ground. We're gonna reach under, and then we're just opening up towards that front leg. So we're gonna go for six on each side here. A 
go ahead and switch once you hit six. All right, guys, when you're done with that, we're going into our bird dog. It's gonna be a little bit of a modified bird dog. The only difference here is gonna be rather than straightening that leg out, we're gonna keep it bent and reach that heel up towards the ceiling. So still going opposite arm, opposite leg, just keeping that back leg bent. So we go eight on each side here. We'll go ahead and switch at eight. All right, we'll go ahead and stand up when you guys are done with that. Got one more for you. Last one, we're gonna go with our toe touch progression for eight reps. So feet about shoulder width apart. Touching the toes, sitting back on those heels, chest up, reaching overhead, and then standing up. So we'll go eight reps here. All right, guys. All right, so just wanna double check. Does everyone have one weight, either a dumbbell or a kettlebell with them? Marina, I know Deb, you have one. Julie, you have one, right? Awesome, okay. All right, so we have a one weight circuit. It's gonna be 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. We're gonna run through it for four rounds. We're gonna start with our squat. So we'll just go goblet squat here for 40 seconds right into a swing. Next, we're gonna go with the pull through. So you guys remember that from the push-up position, pulling the weight across with your opposite arm. Uh, number four is gonna be a reverse lunge. This one's gonna be a little different. So if you're holding a kettlebell, or sorry, a dumbbell, you can just hold it by the end. If you're holding a kettlebell, obviously we'll just hold it by the handle. As you lunge back, as you step back, you're gonna reach that weight around your front leg. So the weight's gonna turn and your shoulders are gonna turn towards that front leg, just like that. So getting a little rotation with the lunge there. And then the last one is gonna be a single leg glute bridge with a press. So it's gonna be like a floor press plus a glute bridge. So this one, we're gonna bridge up on one side Whatever side, whatever knee is in the air, we're gonna press the weight on that side. So we're here, we're gonna hold that glute bridge and then we're gonna do our press on the opposite side. All right, so I'll call it a switch. We'll just do 20 seconds on each side with that one. Does anybody have questions on any of those? We've got a couple new ones in there. All good? Okay, all right, cool. All right, we're gonna get started with the squat first. All right, guys, starting with the squat in three, two, one, and go.
Thank you. <laughs> 10 seconds. And rest. All right, guys, next moving on to our kettlebell swing. All right, here we go. Five seconds. And rest. All right, guys, next we have our pull through. Three, two, one, and go. Over halfway. And rest. All right. Next up on the menu, we have reverse lunge with our rotation towards the front leg. Okay, here we go. Ten seconds. And rest. Whew. All right. Last one here, guys. For this round, we have our single leg glute bridge hold with our press. So remember, we're pressing on the same side of the leg that's in the air. All right. Here we go. Really try to think about keeping that weight on the heel, keeping those hips up the whole time. All right, go ahead and switch. and rest. All right, guys, right back into it. Round number two, grab a quick sip of water if you need it. Going right back into our squats. Okay, here we go.
Seven seconds. And rest. All right. Swings coming up next. All right, three, two, one, and go. Okay, halfway, guys. And rest. All right. Going down to the hands for our pull through. Three, two, one, and go. Eight seconds. And rest. All right, reverse lunges coming up next. All right, here we go. Ten seconds. And rest. All right, guys, last one for this round. Glute bridge hold with our press. All right, here we go. All right, go ahead and switch. And rest. All right, guys, that's two rounds down. Round number three coming up. All right, right back into our squats. Here we go. Ten more seconds. And 
And rest. All right, swings. Three, two, one, and go. Fifteen seconds. And rest. All right, guys. Pull throughs. Three, two, one, and go. Ten more seconds. All right, good. All right, reverse lunges. All right, here we go, guys. Ten seconds. Keep going. Almost there. And rest. All right, guys. Finishing up round three here with our glute bridge and press. Okay, here we go. All right, go ahead and switch. And rest. All right, guys. Almost there. Last round coming up. Back to our squat. All right, here we go. All right, we got 10 seconds.
and rest. Whew. All right, swings coming up next. Three, two, one, and go. Almost there. And rest. All right. All right, we got our pull throughs. T minus 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and go. Eight seconds. And rest. All right, down to the final two. All right, reverse lunges. Three, two, one, and go. Fifteen seconds. Almost there. And rest. All right, guys. The last one here. Glute bridge and press. All right, here we go. All right, go ahead and switch. And all done. Oh. 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 All right. How's everybody feeling? Okay, I'm going to give that one a 9 out of 10, Evan, that workout. Oh, I'll take that. I like it. Yes, although, cool. yes, it makes up for yesterday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Patrice was in here today working out, and he was saying, yeah, yesterday it was like the side planks apparently were like really, really hard. Yesterday got gets about a four out of ten, but today.